Hello and welcome back to Truck and Logistics Simulator. We're in our little blue van. Um, I went off and I've done one more little delivery job. We just try and build up a little bit of money in between episodes and it paid out five grand. And it brought us to the top of a mountain. Now one thing I learned in this is that do not stop and try and take a screenshot whilst going up the mountain. Because this little van does not like going. It, it was wheel spinning like crazy. We probably need to get some new tyres. Um, afterwards, I thought, if you can't see it, I'll move myself. There's a little mini map down there. I thought I'd come and stop in this. I thought, oh, there's a little lay-by at the top of the hill. We had to do our delivery down here, so I just came up. I thought, I'll stop in there. That'll be a good place to simulate some rest, and we'll come back in the morning. It's now about four past four in the morning. Then when I got up here, I realised I was sleeping at the nuclear power plant. Why not? Why not go and get some sleep at a nuclear power plant? just seems the thing to do. Uh, fortunately, we have a pickup point over there, so we can go and get ourselves a little job, see what we can find, see where we can go, see how far we can progress. Not quite sure what sort of jobs they'll have for us at a nuclear power plant that we can deliver in our little Mercedes van. Look at that, for a cab. Look at that, that's pretty cool. In a way, that's pretty cool anyway. Depends on how you feel about nuclear power, I guess. Awesome, it's awesome. So, job-wise, shall we try something... Weight is going to be an issue. We struggled with this getting up the hill, 1.7. So I imagine 1.725 is probably our maximum cargo. But we'll go with... That's 8 grand. Where's that want us to go? We are here. That's quite a trip, isn't it? It's quite a trip. Let's do that for eight grand. Should we do that? That one's seven. Oh, that's going to give us uh, more pickups afterwards. I want to take that one. I'm going to go for that one. It's a little bit less, but it's going to give us more opportunities afterwards. So let's see what this is like. Okay, so we have three to deliver. So we're going to have to put one in our van. And two on the trailer, so we need to pack our van. Perhaps our van doesn't take. Oh, let's put that back on there. It doesn't take the two I thought it did. We shall see, shall we? We shall see. Shame I can't see where my forks are. There we go. That's all. That's all there. Now, although it would let me map this to my uh, the stick on my side panel it wouldn't let me decide the direction in which we go so it, it might seem normal to some people but with the stick you'd normally have it sort of uh, in reverse how do I can I not hmm ah uh, maybe oh it's, it's dropped down now I see the back is dropped as I say I need to connect a truck up of a trailer to be van. So yeah, so up is or forward is up and back is down. But you know, normally for me anyway, I'm sure many are the same. That would be reverse. So I'd pull it to me for it to go up and to push it to go down. Is that not there? There we go. It's a challenge of mini game in itself. Now this is the thing that some say is missing from ETS ATS, the, the loading of your own cargo. But to be fair, as a truck driver, how often do you go somewhere and have to load your own cargo? There's only someone there. It works for the firm that loads it. You may, if you have a truck that carries a um, forklift on the back, you may possibly unload your own at the other end, and then, or just to bring it off, and then someone else will take over. I don't think generally arriving somewhere. Come on, there we go. So it couldn't be far out. 
driving somewhere and loading your own cargo. I'm not sure how, how common that is as a, for a truck driver. Let me know, truckies. Do you do much of that? Some of you will say yes, some of you will say no, some of you will say don't be so ludicrous, sir. So now, we have to go and attach the trailer. Now something that I noticed, which I probably should have noticed before, is that when we go in reverse, we got a little um, camera on the back. Where is it? Where is it? Da, da, da. Oh, it will let me from there, I think, actually. There we go. I overshot it. I swear that says attached trailer. Let's see if I can get my camera at work again without sticking my head out. Oh, we have attached. It's on. It's on. Did they even notice? Right, yo. We're off. Let's go. Let's go, people. If you enjoyed the first one and you're back for the second one, thank you very much. Do appreciate it. Something a little bit different. It's not massively different, but it's a bit different. And those of you that have been with me for a while, you know I do like to change every now and then. Sometimes I need something different. Just for me. And at the minute, a lot of my uh, other content is it sounds like it's quite time consuming, so I spend a lot of time doing a particular thing uh, just for one little bit um, so it's just nice to break away and do something else for a little while and you never know that it might turn out popular on the channel so give it a crack now let's try not to get hit by high speed vehicles here right let's go this last time out well, we got t-boned good and I honestly don't think it was my fault. I haven't had no feedback yet. I'm recording this the same evening, so I'm still in the sweat box. <laughs> still in the sweat box. It is so warm. It's crazy. Right, but hopefully we can just change up gear so we can get out of that horrible drone. Gear sounds could do with being a little bit better. Gear changes or the um the gears need to be a little bit more spread out. I feel like you just sort of wind into them way too early. Like, you're, you're peaking so quickly. And it's not like there's a lot of gears to be had. We've got to sixth gear. But it wants to be in third gear at 60 kilometers an hour. Excuse me. Now, is that normal? Because I don't know what kilometers per hour is in comparison. But I feel like we're going pretty quick. And there's no way that I'd be in third gear going that quick. The gears don't seem right. Now we're okay for fuel still. I'm starting to regret not bringing a cloth up to wipe myself with. It's just, I'm melting. I'm actually melting. Hopefully you guys can't see it. No one zoom in. <laughs> it's rancid. It's why, another reason why I'm playing something a little bit different, stuff, maybe a little bit oh, more relaxed and chilled and light-hearted than my uh, intense concentration of um, the Oaks Vinic series. Just because it's just hot and uncomfortable and I need to just be able to have a laugh and chill when it's like this. Still try and get something for you guys to enjoy and to, you know, progress with the channel. I might put this out a day or two early for the uh, for the members as well. I might try and make that a thing with, with new content sort of going forward. Watch out as they cut across. <laughs> and there it is going to come in. Also, I think I found some jump locations. Oh, not that I'm worried about the jumps, but the jump locations for landing on the ferry. Because as I was coming around uh, uh, near where we dropped off at the end of the last last episode, there, there were quite a few jumps along a river and a ferry boat was uh, traveling down that river it was a little bit further ahead so i couldn't even i couldn't attempt to jump but yeah need to find out how often it travels down that part and <laughs> give it a go one thing that there is in this um, game are golden crates uh, golden pallets golden boxes something like that called scattered about within the map there's a hundred of them 
and I think they're worth, I forget how much they're worth now, either a grand or ten grand, something like that. Gives me an indicator, shall we? So it might be worth trying to find one of them so we can uh, get some pennies. Move it. See, it's in second gear still. We should be third, fourth. Just doesn't seem to go uh, up in gears quite as I would like, so I have to sort of do it manually. If we get a little uh, jump at some point, or if I get stopped at some lights, I'm going to pause it and I'm just going to wipe myself down. You have to be careful coming out of these junctions as well, because cars come down here at maximum speed. So if it's 130 kilometers an hour, odds are cars are coming down here at 130 kilometers an hour. Whereas I feel like 80, 85 kilometers, especially with that trailer on the back, that seems enough. That seems more than plenty. And like I say, they're, they're not time deliveries. You've just got to get the delivery done and you've got to get it done safe. That maybe would be something that would be cool if they introduced as a time on the delivery. But not a time that means you've got to go breakneck speed at all times. See, 100 kilometers now. We don't need to be doing 100 down here. We've got a camera. On the way up the uh, the hill to that drop-off. Oh, we got caught out as it dropped to 80. See, got caught out. So easily done. Especially when talking to the camera. So that's our first fine. We've had our first crash, we've had our first fight. We're all good now. Everything's everything's as it should be. <laughs> all is right with the world. So yeah, you do have to be be careful because it is almost as soon as you hit the uh, the speed the speed um, sign, there's the camera. Um, on some of the windy roads and the, what would be the country roads, the back roads, those that go up the hills and down the hills and the mountains, uh, those often have um, speed camera vans parked up on the side. So you have to watch out for them as well. That's why I wanted to try and be in the habit of always going under the speed limit because they want to get riddled with fines all the time. So I think we're staying on as we come through. We're staying on the freeway. So we're now gone 80, 130, 80, but this is still 130, I think. But there's no real telltale on the road. So we're now down at 100. No real telltale of the road itself as to what the speed is. The actual markings on the road all look like they're a 40 to me. In miles per hour. So we're selling 70, selling 75 kph. We're staying on the main one, yeah. Let's move over because he's not going to slow down. <laughs> we need to be over again though, because we need to come off at the next junction. And when they come off, they tend to slow right down to about 35 as well. stop and give way. It's going to be good. There you go. That's a speed camera van, I think, with the, the green on its bonnet. So, yeah, if you've got used to coming through there at 100 or 80, 50 will suddenly feel slow. But that, as you can see, that is a speed camera van trying to catch you out as you come off the slip road. Naughty. Proper naughty. Good God, man, I am drenched. <laughs> oh, dear. By the end of the evening, I'd have lost a stone. Maybe half a stone is great. Let's just move over. Try to make sure we can see the light when it changes. Like I say, they're, they're just... You haven't got a light opposite you if you get right up to the line. To see, there's another speed camera van. Look at that! Absolutely everywhere. It's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. You're a disgrace. <laughs> not having it. I tell you, not having it. 
think that was coming on us. That's what she said. <gasps> Bye. So where are we going in? We've got to find the entrance to this place. Which I think is this one here. Entrances aren't always marked out clearly. Eyes peeled for any flashing, glowing boxes when we arrive at places. Because that's where they'll be. They'll be tucked up in corners and in buildings. We want some of them gold, gold crates. We want some of that money. Some of that gilder. if we can get that in there using the mirror. It's not too bad. Tell you what, that'll do us. There it is. Lovely job. Free star transport complete. Uh, that's just under eight grand, which I think that bring us to 23,000. We could probably buy a new van with that, but we shall keep going on. We'll try and build up for a bit of cash. I'll build up a bit of cash. Um, we're not going to grab anything from here, I don't think, unless we try and take on just for a different cargo. We take on the the other transformer. That one's got some distance. Pretty, ooh. So it says that's pretty, that's not pretty much going back where we came from, is it? That is, that's quite some distance. We'll go there because this one again leaves us the option of getting into town. Sometimes that's what you want to be. You'll be able to move somewhere else and to grab some other jobs. Because if not, if you keep going from yellow to yellow, all all I'm going to be able to do without driving off is um, picking up these same. Uh, what did I say they were? Generators. That's what they look like. Generators. So we'll take on this one, and that is just under seven grand. I use some of that <laughs> time as an opportunity to clear some of the leakage of my person. It's grim. Sorry, can't, can't help but talk about it because it's there. Now, which way is that face? It's facing forwards. So we've got to get in front. It doesn't. They don't always leave your your pickups in the best place, and sometimes uh, when you've got to um, load your vehicle up. I am going the right way. I feel like I am. I'm not near it, am I? Not near it at all. No. Um, yeah, sometimes when you got to load your vehicle up, it, can, it'll, it will park you or your goods right next to a pylon or a lamppost or something. There will be something in the way. Now, another thing is if you do map or remap your keys on your keyboard, the prompts will not tell you where you've mapped them to. They'll tell you the original. Because mine kept telling me to recenter my head or recenter my camera, not my head. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Recenter my camera with three. I keep pressing three and it's not. And then I remembered I remapped it somewhere else, somewhere a bit closer to me. Uh, so, yeah, there it is. So it doesn't always tell you where you remap to. Just a little niggle. Something for those guys to look into. Should anyone at. Um, Simular games ever watch this? Just sort that one out. But again, my wheel is working fine. I've been in and out of the game to OBS and to you know a few other little things, and I've come back in and the wheel is still working as it was, which is fantastic. Now, that's saying there's a road there. Well, I don't th well, I guess we probably could just shoot over that, but that is definitely um, a car park. Ooh, hello. And he took out the bus stop. <laughs> so yeah, I know. I'm, I thought I picked a recenter somewhere on my wheel, but probably not. I think that's why I've moved it closer on the keyboard. It's because I couldn't. There's another one of those controls that I couldn't change, even though I wanted to. So it'd be nice to have the zoom uh, to be mappable. I'd like it on the mouse, or to be able to put it on my side panel. 
that's why I put it on um, because I'm using this to view with it'd be nice if I could put it on the the red button on the like the hat button on my side panel so I use the Logitech side panel it'd be nice if I could do that because I'm using the, the obviously the axes of the stick to look and then for the loading um, the side panel has the button that changes it blue to red so then on blue we're looking on red we're loading sort of thing that's just how I just thought be a little rundown on how I got my, set, my settings and my setup going naturally we moved our indicators to our flappy paddles and I've moved the gears to the up and down on the d-pad on the wheel like I say, because we've run an automatic, but it still allows me to manually shift if I want. I can just stick this all the way up in there. Six, but it will try and put itself down where it wants. Uh, if I stick it on manual, I will forget to do it. We'll actually get more of that annoying grinding of the gear. I'll not mess with it here, because on the hill we do struggle with the weight. It's really got a little van. A little man with a van. didn't look like a roundabout on the map <laughs> that'd be nice if that was a little bit more detailed as well if your mini map and your sat nav was a little bit more detailed so you could see roundabouts rather than junctions as you're approaching sort of prepare yourself a little bit better but as you can see the uh, the terrain's not too bad i'd say the terrain is probably on par or a little bit better than um, alaskan truck simulator Another game that I'd like to get more of on the channel, just because it's a bit different. It's it's in the simulator bracket, but it's got survival. I like that. That's something that would work well with within this as well. If they had that, like you got to do your munchins and you got to do your sleep, and if they could add a little win winter side guy, I'd, I'd like to see more games add uh, the the survival aspect of a season cycle, a yearly season cycle. I really like that. I mean, it's pushed too late to implement in this, but if they ever do another one of a similar ilk, then uh, yeah, intrigued by that. And graphics wise, we're running everything cranked. Um, you know, you see, we're getting pop in and, and stuff like that. I, I can't do nothing about that. That is the, that is the distance is set. There's nowhere that I can go in and change the draw distances. And all the loading in distances or anything, but when it's there, it looks all right. I think the distance views look nice. The sky box and the cloud isn't too bad. You know, we've got the uh, the light rays, like the with actual actual light and shadow. So we're getting the rays between the trees and things. So we take the tunnel see if the sound is any different in the tunnel better not go too quick so tun tunnel sounds different so that's nice environmental change I mean the sound may not necessarily be nice but the fact that it does change you've got audibly different environment As for a goal on what we'll do here, I'm not really sure. Just make lots of money, I guess. Like I say, because there's there's no real building up of a fleet or you know a company, as it were. It's just it's just you trying to collect up vehicles and earn as much money as you can. So we'll try and work our way to getting some, let's say, some big big vehicles. Of it. What would be nice is to work our way up to own one of each vehicle. And then you can jump between them, so you can have a day of, oh, uh, today we're going to go out and do dump trucks, and, and see what we can do and load up in that, and then we'll have, you know, go out and do the box truck, then take out a tractor unit, and see what contracts we can get with that sort of thing. So I will no doubt do runs in between episodes. Like I'm, I knew I was going to record back to back, but I still wanted to put a run in, in between, just so there's that feeling of progression of building up money so I, I will do that 
like I said, I don't know how frequent these will release, but I'll try and do it so it doesn't get too lost. I, j I just wanted to ooh, have a little break. Although there's not been a lot of farm sim on the channel, although I've got quite a few farm sims on the go, like I said before, the, what I'm doing is taking a long time to create. Uh, so I've, like the last few days, I should imagine I've played, in three days I've probably played about 45 hours worth of farm sim. And I've only actually made one one video and one intro to a video and we did a live stream and I had a little play on something in Discord for a few hours um, while we had a builder in. No one came and joined me. Well they did. Um, someone came in. They, they <laughs> came in and then left straight away. Feel free if I'm in Discord streaming or if anyone else is in Discord streaming because I know some of the guys like to get in there and do it. Pop in and say hi. You don't have to do too much. You don't have to join in in the game or anything like that but the guys are on there. There's no one driving that vehicle. I've only just noticed there's no one driving any of the vehicles. Who's there? There's no one in there. Where are the drivers? Okay. AI vehicles need driver models. That's what you need. Perhaps that's why they have these high speed limits. You're not supposed to know it. You're supposed to be careering around. Like a madman. I noticed as well the convoy stuff seems to be for multiplayer, so that you can have a convoy vehicle out front, like you would you know, in real life. So you got someone out there stopping traffic, uh, shutting roads, so you can get the big vehicles through. And that's what the convoy stuff is for. So that you, if you have friends, you've got friends. Remember what they are as you get older, friends uh, who want to play with you. You can you can do that. So you'll have you know a couple of guys maybe that are running the big trucks uh, with massive loads on, and then a couple of you in these small vans set up for cargo or, or cargo haulage, whatever that was called. And um, yeah, being able to do that and just be be the scout vehicle or the one at the back. Which I think is pretty cool. Again, if you've got friends that you like to play multiplayer with, I don't do a lot of multiplayer gameplay. That's my thing. I always say I'd like to do more, but then, you know, the time to do it, like, same as like to record multiplayer content. It would be really nice to team up with someone else and to do it. But are they necessarily going to be free at 10 o'clock at night? <laughs> Are they going to be free 10 till 1 to do it? I can't expect someone else to do that. So where are we part on this? I struggled to make the time to get on my own multiplayer dis uh, multiplayer servers for farm sim in FS22. Which was a shame, because I wanted to really get on there and do them. But it just didn't work out that way, unfortunately. Where is our tr trailer? It's there. Okay. That's fine. Just need to see the uh, green box now. Much rather have come in. There we go. Now we can see it. Come in a little bit further over and then sort of swung in rather than having to sort of fish for it. There we go, it's taking it, it's in, creeping in slowly. It, it registers a shoe stopping, so this is pretty good. But we get the parking bonus. I don't know how you don't get the parking bonus, because you've got to get it in there. You ought to register, so I don't know. But that's it, that's another six grand, nearly. We'll take that. And we're still moving. Bosh, bosh. So let's have a look. How are we then? I didn't see it. Nearly 30 grand. So if we have a little look at the garage. The next um, vehicle that we really want is something different, I guess. Ooh, that actually... Okay, so that does quite a bit. I was thinking that wouldn't do much more than the minivan. That's a fair amount. 
So that is it's like 30 grand. Panel van. 21. What is it? And 23. So we, we could get ourselves panel van. Now, we'll buy, when you buy it, um, you don't have a lot of fuel in, so you need money for fuel and things like that. So I'll keep doing that. It's not there. We need to go back to my van and then to drive. And then we bounce in. I like that. That's a, I like that this thing is in a parking spot somewhere as well. That's quite nice. We're not just like randomly still in the building site or just parked on so we are parked up somewhere that's that's a nice little touch i will give it that and again you know town looks all right this is more more than plausible for a simulating a driving simulator a delivery simulator this is a smile on my face i'm enjoying myself i'm a miserable man i'm enjoying myself this game isn't bad so yeah what i might do is go off do some more deliveries again off screen uh, build up a little bit of money, build up the coffers, as they say, get ourselves a bit more money, and probably next episode we'll get ourselves either a pickup truck or a panel van, and we'll see what sort of different deliveries we can do with that one. But hopefully you've enjoyed this. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. Check out some of the other content if you're new. We have, if you're interested in trucking simulation. We've got ETS, we've got ATS, we do a lot of farm sim. Check it out, see what you like. Um, but you guys have a wonderful day, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.